hello, hello everyone. It's Kay from Crafted Kay. How are we all doing? In the room with me is Pickle. It is a little after six in the morning and I thought I'd actually record a weapon chat. Yay! At least before I've got to go get her ready. Now I thought I'd zoom right out so we could all see this creepy painting. <laughs> so I believe, I've only just realised looking through the camera, I believe this is the start of an eye. This is a uh, huge gaping more of a mouth. This is my horror themed mystery kit from Prism. It is a 50 by 60 and square. And yeah, there's quite a lot of confetti going on actually in here. Uh, so yeah, I had no idea this was what it was going to be. I had no clue. Lots of people thought Skull. Yeah, it's a creepy ass clown dude or something. So let's bring you in. How's everybody doing? So, let's see, da, 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 what am I going to do next, let's do shit. So yeah, I've been not doing a great deal to be honest. I have been tired and drained a lot. Luckily the headaches have kind of eased, which is always nice. Pickle is doing great with school, although she didn't go in yesterday. Because she thought it was a fantastic idea to wake up at half three in the morning. Yeah, she didn't even have a nap and still went to bed at seven o'clock at night. I, I I don't know how this girl functions. <laughs> but she slept better today. Um, I got up around five, she got up about half five. So yeah, she's definitely going in today. Yay. So there's that. So she's loving running in and all sorts so yeah Captain Bimble's feeling better now he was a bit poorly last week his pickle came home with a runny nose and he got uh, the man flu as it were but now he was pretty run down and felt like poop sore throat and all that jazz but now he's okay now yay yeah last week uh, I had a bit of a snotty nose, I was constantly just sniffing and sneezing and honestly I didn't think anybody wanted to hear that. Plus that was also a good excuse because I was tired anyway and didn't feel like uh, doing a video anyway, so yeah, there's that. Yes. So this is my third kit for the hashtag... DPF Spooky Flames event. So yeah. Honestly, I could would should have been a lot further along on this kit, but I keep procrastinating and I'll sit up here, but I'll mess around on my phone. Or something. So it's like, okay, come on now. And now I don't like creepy clowns, but this is no excuse not to get this kit done. <laughs> so yes. Do 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 Oh, I got my medal through. So, for those of you that follow me, I do something called the uh, Conquer Challenge. Um, it's these things. So, I now have two medals. This one's my old one, my Inca Trail, and this one is my new one. I'll show you that. What it is, it's a virtual journey. So, I just input my steps every day. Um, and, yeah, and then... You open this up. Ta-da! And I've got my medal. So I did Lands End to John O'Groats and it was uh, 1,084 miles, if I can get them right. These are really, really weighty. There's the back, so I could actually hang it from somewhere. Should I want to? It's like proper metal. So yeah, I'm really happy. I've already started my next challenge. This one's only like 40 odd miles. Hello, sweetie. How are you? One second, guys. She needed help with something. Bless you, sweetie. I'll show you the first one I ever got. Yeah, that one took me over a year to do. Uh, but now that I've started up all the school runs again, this is the Inca Trail one. So, yeah. So I'm just collecting these at the moment because it gives me a bit of motivation anyway. And why not? If I'm already walking all the school runs and what have you. Well, it just makes sense. I might as well, eh? Hey? Let's get this proper copy in the other way. Aha. If I 
okay. There we go. So I got these two so far. Yeah, the next one I'm doing at the moment is only like 40 miles. I'm already halfway through that one. Um, and that is in the Netherlands with the whole uh, tulip fields and stuff along the coast. Which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of doing that at the moment. And then I'll debate which one I'm going to do next. I might do the... There's one in Scotland which is called the Highlands 500 or something. So it's 500 miles um, along the Scottish coast I think but it's quite good um, as you do it <coughs> uh, you input your steps into the app and whatnot and it puts you moves you along the map uh, you could do any sort of exercise and it will pop it in the progress and move you along the map but I just do my steps and basically um, there's Google Street View so whilst you're doing these plate things as you move along on the map you can click on Google Street View and see what's going on in the area and stuff like that so it's quite cool I like it it just gives me a bit of motivation like I say that that uh, last medal I got the Jono from Land's End to Jono Groats um, that one actually took me just just over a year to do so that's over a thousand miles <laughs> But, yeah, you know, it was a lot of fun, though, to do progress-wise and stuff. It's just like I can keep on the back burner. That's it. You can set your own time limits um, or adjust said time limits if you find you're running a bit behind. So, yeah, it's a good incentive to get up and move around, really. That's it. Quite a few uh, drills on this kit, unfortunately, are kind of meshed together. Hence why I've got my green trace here. If you have uh, mesh drills that are like some of these, if I just zoom in, see how these are joined together? You pour them in that, in a green tray, and squish until you click. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But it usually does a good job. Put them back in that one. Just because it's, it's easier to pour. I just wanted to demonstrate that. Or you can get like a little pot and put a coin in and shake it around like hell. Do, 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 do. Just need one of these because I missed it before. And yeah, literally all I've been doing is pulling it back. Pulling back a little bit and working a whole strip. That's how I work most of my kits to be honest. I've been very good. I'm I'm staying on my no buy. Really cannot wait till <laughs> I can show you a custom I had ordered um, a couple weeks back because that's just gonna be hilarious. And I'm giving to my no buy because uh, <laughs> Captain Bimble recently reached out to um, Cindy, uh, diamond painting fanatics. She has a diamond painting company called Dainty Diamond Art. And he wants to get a custom of our pickle. And he even said, bear in mind, he has nothing to do with this craft at all. He wants to work on it with me. Yay! So we might actually be working on a project together. Now, we've got to figure out the logistics of how we're going to work on this together. <laughs> but, um, basically, we're very limited on space. We don't have, like, a, a, a big table we can do it on or something. This is... A little computer desk and it's quite cramped and we only have one chair for up here so we're gonna have to try and figure something out maybe I can get some cardboard and attempt to make pickles little table a bit bigger I don't know Let's see any more of that one look so yeah, that would be really, really nice. <coughs> and Captain Bimble is tempted to do something. And I said, of course, he can use my... Bless you. He can use... Bless you. I said, he can have a set day on my channel if he wanted to, until he branches out on his own. See how he gets on. He's very much into his conspiracy theories at the moment. And he's thinking of doing something like... 
um, Captain Bimble's conspiracy theories or conspiracy time with Captain Bimble or something. I don't know. He's got to figure out a name. I've told him, you figure out what it is you want to do. Come up with the concept and I'll help him. So whether that means I'll record some diamond painting so he can use it and do a voiceover or what, because he doesn't want his face on on the uh, on the channel too much. He doesn't mind like the odd thing where I've put in a clip of what we're doing, but sitting in front of it for a video, he doesn't really want to do that. So that's fine. So would does anybody else like conspiracy theories? Does anyone have any conspiracy ideas to chuck his way? He's always been intrigued by it, but um, he's never really done much research into it, but he's gotten a couple of books recently. And so, yeah, at some point that may turn up on my channel. I said to him, I'll probably... You can make make the videos whenever you like, but I'll probably pop them up on a Sunday or something. Because that's usually a quiet today. Because typically I put my weapon chats up on a up on a Tuesday or a Wednesday um, and then anything else I don't know but yeah I said uh, go for it he's trying to find something to do with his time blessing right go for it it's good for your health you know get interested in doing something and yeah See, he can't find a hobby to really sink his teeth into yet Trust me, I've tried with the diamond painting, but that was mainly back when I first started, but he's just not interested. So let's just try to get him engaged with something. But yeah, we're doing all low right over here. Let's see, what's the time? Can I see what the time is? I click my phone, nope. Let's see, 6.19am. Nice and early. So what figure? Just do a little video saying hi because I know it's been a little while I know I haven't been that great with videos lately but it's just one of those things isn't it I'm trying not to force myself to do the videos and stuff I want to do them because I wanted to do them so it's not like I get paid or anything so you know it's supposed to be a fun hobby so but I don't like that I'm not consistent sometimes I go through like I don't know. Once every other month or something, I'll have a a drop in what I'm doing. But yeah, I believe I've got my two year. Well, that's coming up really soon, actually. Yeah, I've got my YouTube birthday coming up in October. I think off the top of my head, I think it's around the seventeenth of October or something. So yeah. I'm trying to convince Captain Bimble to do the tortilla face slapping challenge thing with me. <laughs> he says no. So I, I, I might get his um, brother to do it with me. I don't know. You guys must have seen the tortilla challenge, right? You have uh, water in your mouth, a tortilla in your hand, you go rock, paper, scissors, uh, and whoever wins gets to slap the other person in the face with the tortilla. And yeah, the loser, <laughs> if you want to call it that, it's the person who spits out the water. So you might get slapped in the face with the tortilla, but you might keep the water, but the other guy might think it's so funny that they spit out the water. It just, it looks hilarious when I've seen it online, and I think it would just be really, really funny. So yeah, um... But yeah, that's kind of all I've got at the moment. I know I want to go back to my miniature at some point because I have not touched that in a hot minute. Um, so I could really do with going back to that because I do want to get it done. And you know, she's actually in school now, so I've got time to do it where I won't get yanked on while I'm trying to get something to set. So I don't know. We shall soon see. How, how cute is this little bat? Well, this little back cover minder. I, I got him and this one from a friend. Little cover minder. But I, I think he's the cutest. I need to come up with a name other than Batsy. Maybe Barry. Barry the Bat. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for joining me today. 
and embrace the love. Take care, guys. Bye.